Throughout the C programming video series, I've been using a very particular coding style, or more importantly, I've been using a very particular indenting style. And I want to do a quick video that talks about different ways you might indent C code. Because you might see someone else's code and they might be indented differently. And I wanted to understand why I decided to indent my code the way that I did for this video series. So let's start by uh, writing a simple program that we might have written as part of the pr uh, programming series. Um, so we might do a program that uh, parses its command line. So we'll do something called uh, args.c. And of course, we would write that as include standard IO uh, and then our main function. So we'd have our uh, int, our variable type uh, on a separate line as the main function itself. At the brackets, we'd type out uh, the arguments. So uh, we'd have an int arg c and a care arg v. And then on its own lines, we'd have uh, the curly braces for that function. But indented, we would actually have the, the program statements. Uh, like we declare a variable uh, int count. Uh, we might do an if statement that says, uh, hey, if I don't have enough commandlet arguments, I'd want to do something different. So if arg c is one that means there are no options to the to the program all, all i'm getting in that list of argv is the name of the program itself i've got a open curly brace in the same line and then i indent and then i say uh, put s and then whatever message i want to say like uh no command line options and then on its own line i have the uh, closing curly brace and then i have my if statement uh, on its own line saying uh, uh, else um, and then I'd have a loop maybe that would do uh, for uh, count equals zero and as long as count is less than arg c and then every time it goes to the loop we're going to do count plus plus and inside the for loop I would just do a simple printf statement that would say uh, all right arg v at that position is, and then inside brackets, I might string. And then the options here are count and argv count. And then again, it's on lines, I would uh, close out the for and the else with their closing curly braces, and then I return back to the operating system at the end. So I, I chose uh, this coding style. It's a little different than how I might normally write code. Um, and, and, and here's some of the things you'd see in it. Uh, and then I'll talk about why it's important. So uh, every line is starting with these uh, four spaces. That's my indent level. So four spaces inside uh, curly braces. Uh, again, inside the else, another four spaces. Inside the for statement, another four spaces. So everything's being indented by these four spaces. Uh, why did I choose four? Well, actually, I think four was was the, the default for Fed. So I just kind of kept it, and it worked worked pretty well. Um, I'm also using open curly braces in the same line as the thing that's using it. So else and then curly brace, so there's down here is a four. Got my, my open curly brace in the same line as the, the for loop itself. Uh, same thing are up here on the if. Uh, but I'm, I'm choosing to uh, have the uh, curly brace for the main function or really any function uh, on its own line. Now, why did I do all this? Well, I'm trying to, uh, as I'm writing the code uh, on screen, I wanted to be able to fit as much source code on the on the screen as I could, uh, and still make it readable. So I wanted to uh, find that that balance, and I found that uh, by putting open curly braces in the same line as the uh, thing that was using it, uh, it, it's 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 still easy to read, uh, and then we indent uh, stuff uh, underneath that. So it wound up being uh, easy to read while still putting as much as I could on the screen as I as I possibly could. So uh, by the way, this is going to turn into a book. The only thing that's going to be really different uh, when I do this in, in, a, in a book is instead of uh, four spaces, I'm going to be using uh, three. So let me just kind of change the indent level here uh, to three. Uh, and that's how it'll look in the book. I think that the code will be formatted exactly the same. It'll just uh, uh, look uh, with uh, th with three spaces. Why am I ch choosing three? Well, we're finding that as we put the book together that uh, I want to try and save as much horizontal space as I can. I don't want lines to have to wrap unnecessarily. Uh, and so I'm finding that if I can do it with uh, three spaces for an indent level, 
uh, that'll actually uh, keep me from having lines uh, wrapping. I'm still keeping the coating style where I've got open curly braces, uh, like I've got up here on the same line as the thing that's using it, uh, because again, I'm trying to balance how much I can show on, on one page and still keep the code readable. I think this is the same kind of uh, balance decision that Kernahan and uh, Richie uh, were making when they wrote their book for the C programming language. Uh, they used a very similar style. So uh, you'll see my coding style uh, probably compared to what's called K and R C, Kernahan and Richie C. Uh, and uh, they used uh, four spaces. So going back to the uh, four spaces I was using before. And four. And there. Uh, so they used four spaces. They also uh, had the else on the same line as the closing curly brace uh, as the uh, if. Um, but they, uh, they did have uh, curly braces on the same line as the thing that was using it. And so again, why did they make these decisions? Well, because when they were writing the book, they didn't want to have to add a bunch of pages uh, just because they were adding a lot of different what's called vertical space in the code, uh, but they still wanted to make it readable. So they were trying to find a balance. And then, and so that's that's the way that they did it, uh, I think. So that, that way uh, their code could still be readable. Uh, I've adopted a very similar coding style to that. Um, and, and oh, by the way, they also had uh, the variable up here for main or for any function really uh, on the same line as the function itself. Uh, everything else I think was was pretty much the same and and they did that uh, as I said it was it was a way to to fit as much code on a page as they could and still keep it readable now you won't see that in uh and this by the way as I said it's called k and r c Kernahan and Ritchie uh, c style uh this is not how you see a lot of modern code written today a lot of modern code now uh they 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 use uh well I certainly use uh what's called the gnu coding style. If you look at the GNU project, they have uh, some coding style guidelines that say uh, we're going to put uh, the variable type for a function on a different line from the function itself. Uh, they're also uh, going to add an extra space between the name of the function and the parameter list. They still have the curly brace for the function on its own line, but instead of these four spaces, they actually have shortened it down to two. And so let me try and bring this down to two spaces. There we go. Uh, and so they've, they've done it down to two spaces, except they've also uh, uh, state that curly braces should be on their own line and they should be indented by two. And the things inside them should also be indented by two. So that, and we need to put the else on its own line and curly brace on its own line. This curly brace on its own line. And you can see already uh, a couple of things. Um, oh, and they also uh, have a space between all called functions and the, uh, the, the parameter list. So this is pretty much how uh, the GNU coding style uh, operates. And I kind of use something very similar to this when I write my own programs. Uh, a couple things you'll notice here is uh, we've added a lot of vertical space. So this was a lot shorter on screen when you're using uh, the coding style that I was using throughout the video series. Uh, and this has now added uh, more visual space in the program uh, listing. Now you're also adding a little bit of size because you know this uh, has been denting. These four spaces would have just been one space up here. Uh, you know, so you got a little bit of, of size difference, but you know, it's it's not. I don't know, probably not very significant, uh, but even that uh, today disk space is pretty cheap. And so you don't really worry about uh, how much extra space your code might take because you're putting in this extra line in the extra spaces for indenting. Uh, but it does make the code very readable in a different way. So you're able to see immediately uh, we've got an if statement that happens and then things that are inside the if statement. Uh, are indented. So we've they've they've got a different uh, you know, one level of space here, vertical space, 
uh, for the curly braces, and so they're 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 on their own indenting level, so you can see them, and that way uh, you'll know if you're missing any curly braces. And then uh, the statements inside those curly braces are indented again, so that way you can see all the statements that are looped inside or that are that are uh, connected inside uh, that. Uh, set of curly braces uh, same thing down here for the for statement uh, so we've got the the for statement uh, right here and then it's own line but indented we've got uh, the curly braces that uh, open and close the for statement and then indented again we've got the, the statements that are inside that for loop and so it it adds uh, to some visual recognition you can you can definitely see the indenting levels that are happening on your code uh, at the expense of making it a little bit longer visually. Uh, but, you know, again, on modern systems where you uh, are able to fit more lines on a screen and still keep it readable, uh, that's not usually a problem. Uh, now, there's also something else I can talk about in terms of are uh, using spaces or tabs. Uh, that is a different argument that uh, I don't necessarily need to get into. Uh, I, uh, my view is visually, if it's uh, as long as everything lines up, that's all that really matters to me. Uh, so that's all I want to talk about uh, this week. I just want to talk about uh, different ways you can indent your code. Uh, before I go, let me uh, thank everybody on Patreon who has been supporting this video series. Uh, you really do make this channel happen. Uh, some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to recognize you here. So thank you very much. Uh, and that's it for this week. Visit us on freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.